Hello and welcome to Football Profile, where we look into the history of the beautiful game. In today's episode, we are going to look at some of football's best retro badges that we would like to see make a return to the modern game. Arsenal have had a variety of crests that have been used over their long history, but a couple of the more iconic ones would certainly be welcomed back in the modern day. Their current badge was a redesign in the early 2000s, but their older options had so much more character. The Art Deco style which remains co-official used to emblazon the entrance of the old Highbury Stadium. Its angular design is undoubtedly cool and would look amazing integrated into a retro kit design. Another of their older badges is the Single Cannon which was seen on the kits throughout the 60s and 70s. It epitomises the classic image of Arsenal and celebrates the history of the club better than the soulless modern version. Seeing either of these used by the club more regularly in the future would be an incredible homage to the club's history. Breton Club Nantes have a long history in French and European football. Their recently adopted crest follows a trend of clubs attempting to modernise the club identity at the cost of ignoring their history. Some of their older designs really celebrate the unique Breton identity of the club, using the ship to remember their proud maritime history. This has come in various guises, but is without doubt infinitely better than the current offering. It would be great to see them attempt to revitalise this old design into a newer badge, preserving the club and town's history. By no means is the current AC Milan badge bad at all. It's an iconic image of European football and uses imagery of Milan as well as the club colours to demonstrate their identity really well. Little may know that during the 1980s, however, they used a very different design, incorporating a lurking devil in an ominous pose as the club logo. This wasn't the most successful period in AC Milan's history, so it perhaps doesn't get the fond memories it deserves, as it is a fantastically designed badge. It would be really cool to see this return in some capacity, even if used for an away or a third kit in the future. Newcastle's current badge is a modern interpretation of the city's coat of arms. Historically, the club regularly used a version of this, and it certainly is a faithful nod to the club's long established history. Despite this, there were two designs in the 70s and 80s that perhaps should be brought back. The first was a more traditional circular logo with a magpie, the club's mascot and nickname, sitting proudly in front of a castle sitting behind. The second, however, is even better, a modernist take with the letters NUFC squeezed into a circle with a magpie beneath. This has become a cult classic for its individuality amongst footballing crests. There is no doubt if this were to make a return, club shirts would sell out pretty quickly. The Irish FA have been using their current crest since the mid-2000s. A modern clip art attempt at a logo, it hasn't seen much fanfare from fans since its launch. So generic is it that two other organisations seem to have used the exact same template. But this wasn't always the case, and both previous logos used by the FIA would be valued replacements for the current incarnation. The classic one will bring memories back from Italia 90, and is an almost faultless badge, incorporating the tricolour into an elegant circular design. The other version, which many will remember from the 2002 World Cup, has the same colour scheme with a distinctly 90s design that is really clean and individual. It would be great to see the FIA return to one of these in the near future and get rid of the current version. Roma is another Italian club whose current logo is so recognisable within European football. Whilst its latest incarnation is slightly more basic than previous versions, it has always retained a similar style. The badge has generally always featured a wolf in some form or another, owing to the history of the foundation of Rome. From the late 70s until the mid 90s, Roma featured an alteration of their traditional badge, using a singular, more intimidating wolf's head as their main crest. The silhouette is designed extremely well, and is something that would be great to see more prominent in future kits. This season, the wolf finally made a return to the away kit, and given the positive response, we may be seeing more of Elupi in the future. Chelsea's newest badge arrived shortly after the arrival of Abramovich, and marked another example of a modern take on a classic logo. It's a pretty decent recreation, if a bit basic, but much nicer than their maligned 90s attempt. 
Some of Chelsea's older badges, however, are absolutely stunning, in particular the one the current one takes inspiration from. The far more ornate and detailed design would look incredible on a modern kit. The very first crest, which whilst never used on shirts, is incredibly memorable, honouring military veterans from a local hospital where they got their first nickname as the Pensioners. Seeing something like this on a modern special edition shirt would be a great homage to the club's founding. Chelsea have managed to honour the former quite recently, but it would be great to see the club do more to honour its massive history in the game. The less that can be said about Juventus' new badge is definitely for the better. Back to the theme of trying to modernise club crest, this one seems like another corporate nightmare. For a club as recognisable as the old lady, Juve really surprised us with this decision, especially given the quality badges they had to choose from. Old incarnations are so famous that it's surprising that they chose not to just update the crest in a modern way, rather than abandon imagery that encapsulates the club so well. Other than the variety of traditional logos they have used, in the 70s they gave the badge a modern twist by focusing on the charging bull. This design with its blurred edges imitating the infamous stripes of the kit still looks really cool and would look great on a modern kit. Unfortunately for us, Juve's corporate machine is very unlikely to make a change like this, but it would be, if possible, great to see something like this in the future. Thank you for watching this episode of Football Profile. What was your favourite retro badge? Was there another retro badge that we missed? Let us know in the comments. If you would like to see a part 2, please leave a like and subscribe for more.